Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video, we are going to solve one very special exponential equation. Equation is x power x power x equal to negative 2 power x power x. So, we will solve this exponential equation algebraically. And it is very very common example now in exponential case that negative base with positive power. So that will generate actually holes or you can say the oscillatory behavior of the function. So let's get started. How many of you are thinking that x equal to minus 2 is the solution of this equation? So let us verify first that that it a statement is not true. Okay, let me find out for x equal to minus 2. See what will happen to the right hand side. x power x. So that value will be minus 2 power minus 2 equal to a raised to the power minus m. We can write 1 over a raised to the power m plus m. So it will be 1 over minus 2 raised to the power 2. That means 1 over 4. Now see what will happen to right hand side. It is minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 4. Means root, root of square root. See minus 2. Already root of minus 2 is imaginary number. We can see like i root. Negative 1 is i square. So i will come out. So number is complex or imaginary. Left hand side for positive value or negative value. See you can find out the value minus 2 raised to the power minus 2 raised to the power minus 2. But ultimately what is happening? Complex roots we are getting. We can find out the root. But roots are complex. For this question we are solving for only real roots. Why I am saying? Because of if you won't solve real solution, means you are not solving for real solution, you are solving for imaginary also, then there are infinite number of solutions for this equation. Why I am saying this? See, second case I can take x equal to minus 4. Same thing it will happen. Minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 16. So that will be again complex number. x equal to minus 8 means anything if x is equal to p over q and your denominator is even number and your p is odd when p will be odd so that minus 2 would be as it is the base and q is even then that means square root square root square root so in that case always you will get a square root of negative number so complex solution for sure so there will be infinite complex solution. We are talking for real solution only. Now second thing, few person can think like x is equal to 1 over 2 or minus 1 over 2. That will be solution. So you can put the value, you can cross examine. That won't generate solution. See, 1 over 2 means it is directly 1 over 2 power 1 over 2. So, you will take the product. It will be minus 2 raised to the power 1 by 4. So, that means still it is complex solution. Complex solution you will get. Negative number is square root complex solution. So, there are infinite number of points where you can find out complex solution. Now, let's talk about real solution. How we will solve this question? Point is. If you will put randomly 0, 1, 2 or values like that, see x power x power x, function is not defined at x equal to 0 if you will find the limit. So there should be some mathematical point. So I am taking a raised to the power b form. First see the cases, three cases of this form. Then we will divide by one side. Then it will form a raised to the power b form. So let's see the forms of a raised to the power b. First is if a is equal to 1, base is equal to 1 and b should be real. 
then we will be having a raised, a raised to the power b equal to 1. Left hand side would be 1. Now second case when power is 0 and base is norm 0. Third case if base is a is minus 1 and at the same time b should be e1. In the three cases if right hand side is 1 and left hand side is a power b form then we can have three forms of solution. Let's solve by this. So I am going to divide because as I as we know actually x power x power x that value cannot be equal to 0. So we will divide both sides by the same. So it will be minus 2 power x power x over x power x power x equal to x power x power x divided by x power x power x. Now you can see base is different but exponent is same. So what I am going to do see the property of exponent let me write that property first. Property is a raised to the power b divided by p raised to the power b then any time because of exponent is same then we can write a over p whole power b. See exponent is same but base is different. Once base is different then we can take the division directly and make it common exponent that is b. So I will write x power x which is in power so that will form minus 2 over x raised to the power x power x equal to 1. Now see very carefully this one is our a as per our form and x power x is this is our b. So let's form three cases case 1, case 2, case 3. Case 1, when a is equal to 1. So let me write base is equal to 1. So base is equal to 1, let me write here. And b should be real. So x power x belongs to real. Okay, let's see. If base is 1, then x will be equal to minus 2. We have just seen that right hand side will generate imaginary root. For x equal to minus 2, it was generating imaginary solution. So immediately you will reject this. No need to check for negative value of minus 2 raised to the power minus 2 is real or not. Because once you check the right hand side minus 2 raised to the power x power x, by putting x equal to minus 2, you can see it is forming minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 4. So that value is generating complex solution. Second form, your power is 0, x power x is 0 and minus 2 over x base should not be equal to 0. See this is not true, rejected, can't possible. See, x power x is always greater than it is not equal to 0. So, rejected. So, the only last case is pending that is base is minus 1. So, minus 2 over x equal to minus 1 and at the same time x power x should be e1. Okay, let us check. If minus 2 by x equal to minus 1 then x is equal to 2. And see 2 raised to the power 2, 4, which is even. x equal to 2 is the only real solution for the given exponential equation. You can check by graph also. See, because of this function is oscillatory, important point is there are infinite number of points where you can conclude there are complex roots. See this red color graph, I have taken that from Wolfram Alpha 
and say the denominator means the second one is from Desmos. You can see, I will explain both the graphs. The first graph is the red color graph. You can see the imaginary part. That complex solution, so imaginary part is separate and real part from the complex number that is separate, that is from blue color. After two, after two, there is, means once you cross two, there is almost 100% complex, means imaginary part solution. So that won't come into our picture. So imaginary and real part separated drawn, which is not possible in case of real software tool, which is generating graph because we have seen this function in detail in the previous uh, videos also that this function is having oscillatory and whole number point. So there are infinite number of complex roots so that one point is real, another point is imaginary like x is equal to minus 2 or you are putting x equal to minus 4 in the same question, x equal to minus 8, minus 10, any even number with negative sign it will generate complex solution. So point is this much only. That is why you can see graphs are like this real and imaginary separate and here in the second case you can see the graph is only reflecting the real part not complex point. And one more thing it is not defined at x equal to 0. 0 raised to the power 0 raised to the power 0 not defined. Okay so x equal to 2 is our only solution for the given exponential equation. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you want many more like this.